yet another uh, three wonderful performances. And I can make special mention of the three tenors there. Wasn't it wonderful to see three tenors whose waistline wasn't huge? <laughs> you see, you can do it, but I don't know. <laughs> and uh, also, can I compliment you? It is so nice to hear a choir that has wonderful diction and wonderful dynamics. You definitely have. It. Uh, David didn't realise, but I do know of him, uh, because uh, my son uh, worked with David with the Gwen Music Support Service. Please, Deputy Mayor, when you tell the council, you've got to keep the Gwen Music Support yeah, Service yeah. going. Yeah. Uh, it's very important. <laughs> my son is actually a good example of what it can lead to. He went on from working with uh, the Gwent uh, music groups uh, to take a degree in music in Cardiff and then a master's degree in Trinity College in London and it changed his life being involved with such a wonderful group and I'm not just saying that, that happened in our life and it, it's a wonderful thing to happen. Do keep it going. Now David, I've got to call on you. Um, as long as you drive me so to be in the uh, interval, I won't tell the audience what your speciality is in the cabaret when we go away from the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. anyway, I'll leave you today to introduce you to uh, the Thai co dramas predominantly uh, the youngsters from Duffery Junior School. Well, go hello. And uh, there are some adults coming in as well, but David will explain exactly what's going on. My son is going on there. <laughs> uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're really proud to uh, welcome on stage this evening the youngsters from Dufferin Junior School. Uh, we're going to be boosted in numbers and it'll be a nice little advert actually for, for one of the classes that we run. But we're going to hold that back for a second. Um, the children, tonight is an unfortunate clash in at Dufferin High School, which a lot of the children obviously from Dufferin Junior School go to, have got their open evening. So whereas we would normally have probably double the number, obviously those of your six children have gone to see they're comprehensive, but these lovely children have said, no, we're not worried about that, we want to play drums. <laughs> um, so we're delighted to have them with us, and as a result, uh, they're going to be joined by some adults who come to a class that we run on a Monday evening at the Riverfront, um, and they very kindly have turned up to, to, to boost the numbers and to give the children some support in their second number, but we wanted to feature them in all their glory, but uh, obviously you're all lovely looking people, but it's quite daunting for these youngsters. They've only performed one ever in public before. So your support, big round of applause. Jason was doing samba over in Dufferin until 7 o'clock and then came whizzing over to, to work with the children. We got evacuated due to a fire alarm, so I snuck in. <laughs>
that we, they said, when are you, we, we did a concert and there were some young drummers, and they said, when are you going to do a class for adults? So we started in January, so we'd like to welcome up some of the ones, some of them are a bit shy, so what, I, this is a gamble now, whether they are or not. <laughs> and then I've got some lovely people over, who are dressed in their lovely tight yes. outfits. So could you please give a round of applause to our adults? They didn't know they were doing this till this evening. No. <laughs> This activity, Tuggo, is so popular in the schools. We're everywhere. We're in about 26 schools in Newport at the moment. So if you're walking down the main street, uh, if you get a bow from some children, don't be uh, cut off. <laughs> 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 